Energy, lots of it, is certainly what drives this man, CEO of one of the most remarkable global companies around. Futuristic ideas that helped us making them a part of the world as we know it. So, 20 years ago, we knew Norway as a, a country of outstanding natural beauty, as a key exporter of oil, but that was about it. The challenge was how to maintain and increase the growth and the welfare of the nation. And some people called that the new industrial revolution. I think what we did then was the start of where we are today. Even though we didn't realize it at that time, we didn't know where it would take us. So I think this is the perfect example of how an idea was developed, commercialized, and given life. This was one of the spin-off companies from BTO, founded on the basis of cutting-edge research combined with BTO's skills in reaching the markets, guiding Norway through the impossible transformation. So, you take no credit for this at all? Well, of course I do take some credit, but my deepest gratitude goes to BTO and all the people who worked there and developed the ideas at that time, futuristic ideas that helped us making them a part of the world as we know it. And we must remember, this is what the BTO is still doing every day. The Bergen Tech Transfer Office, BTO, is founded by the three largest research institutions in Bergen. The Bergen region has been a center of international trade for centuries. Our impressive abilities to adapt to new areas of trade has given us a competitive advantage. Today, the hot goods in international business are knowledge and information. In Bergen, there are about 4,000 researchers performing cutting-edge research worth nearly 4 billion kroner each year. This generates a lot of knowledge, knowledge used globally. Research transferred into products and services has created numerous jobs and changed the lives of many people all over the world. BTO work hard to nurture our startup companies so they can develop their products and reach success. Our goal is to negotiate fair deals for both inventors and research institutions. We also help investors identify startup companies in need of funding and in getting a suitable return on their investment. BTO handle all intellectual property, provide funding, establish company and license technology, file and protect patents, and offer legal advice. BTO knows business development. The challenge lies in choosing the most effective path. The BTO team consists of people with specialized knowledge within the different research disciplines, as well as market, funding, and legal expertise. We match the best suited employee with each project. Each year we start several new businesses and license a number of technologies. You might call us serial entrepreneurs. At BTO, we know that most of the world's great ideas have yet to be put into life. That's where we come in. We guide good ideas. At Hawkland University Hospital, Bergen, a biotech company has emerged from the research conducted by two bioscientists. Bergen Bio is a growing company with new perspectives on life science and pharmaceutical technology. And Bergen Bio uh, was uh, started based on a, on a new technology that we developed as part of our uh, interest in understanding the, the disease of cancer. So the pharmaceutical companies are interested in knowing exactly which proteins are the most important, and that's the information that we can provide with this technology. The lab work was, was conducted in its entirety here in, at the University of Bergen, uh, and we, through the, the, uh, the BTO, were able to finance uh, the, the start of the commercialization process. Uh, BTO was an invaluable partner in this process. The research we're conducting here at the University of Bergen has, has the uh, potential to be spun out to, uh, and create new commercial entities, and Bergen Bio is an example of that. 
uh, once all the oil runs out and you have to have something else to do. You need to be, you need to be investing in a, a different type of natural resource and that's the one in between your ears. So I think that's a very important uh, lesson that many countries have learned. I think that Norway is in a golden age now uh, and it's very important that there is uh, an investment in the future, an investment in its young scientists, for example, uh, to be able to have, be able to develop new technologies, take them into commercialization. That's an extremely important thing.